Let's keep working on question 10 in this video. So recall from the previous video, we, we stopped at the point D. So let's move now from point D to point E. We change our inputs from 4 to 5 for the labor. So change labor from 4 to 5. And what is 4 to 5? That's a ratio, 5 divided by 4, of 1.25. So increase labor by a ratio of 1.25. We go with our capital from 8 to 10 units. So we increase from 8 to 10 which means 10 divided by 8 is equal to again 1.25. So when we increase our capital by a ratio of 1.25, let's see what's happening to our production. It goes from 500 to 800 to the point E. So 800 divided by 500, that's 1.6, meaning that the output increases by a ratio of 1.6 when it goes from point D to point E. So times 1.6. Well, the inputs increased by a ratio of 1.25, the outputs increased by a let, let's call it proportion better, proportion of 1.6. Well, that's higher than 1.25. So what we can say is that from point D to point E, we have increasing returns to scale again. Okay, let's keep going from point E to point F to see what's happening. We go from five to six units with our labor. So six divided by five, that's an increase of 1.2. So it increases by a proportion of 1.2. Our capital goes up from 10 to 12. 12 divided by 10, that's again 1.2. So capital increases by a proportion of 1.2. Let's see how output changes from 800 to 900. Well, if we divide 900 by 800, that's equal to 1.125. So output increases by a proportion of 1.125. 1.125 is less than 1.2. So the output increased by a smaller proportion than the increase in input, meaning that from point E to point F, we have decreasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale. And now let's do it one last time for the point E to point F, see what happens there. We increase labor from six to seven units, seven divided by six is equal to 1.16. So we increase it by a proportion of 1.16. It's actually 1.17 if we round up. Let's just write 1.17 to be more accurate. And we increase capital from 12 to 14. Well, 14 divided by 12 is equal to 1.17 as well. So this one increases by a proportion of 1.17. And the output goes from 900 to 950. Well, 950 divided by 900, that's equal to 1.05. So output increases by a proportion of 1.05. Again, 1.05 is a proportion, a proportion increase in the output that is less than 1.17 with the proportion increase in input. So output increases less than the input from point F to point G, which means we again have decreasing returns to scale. Hope this makes sense and we are done.